guys, it's Laura here, and I brought Gabby and Sophie along with me to do a sit-down video for you. And they're like, oh, I just want to play Star Stables. Minecraft. Right? Minecraft. Watch a movie. Watch a movie, but I'm making them do this video with me because we talked about it um, as part of our writing in homeschool today, and we decided to make the video about five things six things we didn't know about horses before we got a horse that we know now and for any of you guys who don't have a horse or don't really understand about horses then this video is for you and for all of you guys out there that know a lot about a lot about horses then you're probably gonna be shocked at the things that we didn't know about horses especially me Mostly yeah, her. she is the one who still doesn't really know horses. Yeah. Is that saddle too... Uh, Gabby, that saddle is too small for him. It's going to hurt him. Mom, no, it fits him. And then she has to make her coach fit the saddle. I know. She says I'm always proper. worried, you guys. I'm always like, are you sure this is okay? People are saying this. Do you think that he... Do you think this is going on? I, I'm an annoying person around horses, I think. Yes. Okay, so let's get to the video. thing that I did not know about horses um, when I all my life seeing horses I've seen them sitting in a field just looking at us and whenever we've gone up to horses they just look at us whenever we've gone to lessons they just look at us like I've never felt a connection I didn't know that a connection was a real thing I thought they just were horses that just sat there and the number one thing that was so shocking to me was that horses don't just sit there they know so much stuff um, they not only do they know so much stuff, but they they know so much stuff. Like I just can't even get over it. Um, sometimes we will go to the field to catch our horse, and our horses are like, "Oh, there's my people," and it's totally different than what it used to He's look like, like to me. It's like a daycare. No, yeah. it's like yeah. their house. Yeah, it's kind of like their daycare where they sit in there and where their parents. Yeah, and then they see and us, and they're like, "Mom." come get me yeah and like bye bye everybody yeah and it never used to be I never knew it was gonna be like that I had no idea it was gonna be like that and um, in the same sense we'll go and we'll take a horse out of the field for somebody else somebody at our barn will message us and say hey I'm gonna be late can you bring my horse up and we'll walk up to their horse and their horse will be like get away you're not my person and they stranger danger stranger danger yeah exactly you're so witty like holy cow <laughs> anyway um, I've actually put a halter on a horse before and said it's okay like you're supposed to come with us your owner wants us to take you and she's put all of her feet straight like this and pulled back and been like I'm not going with you but she doesn't do that with her owner and that's just crazy to me like I had no idea I I I don't even know why I didn't know that but I did not know that I look pale do you <laughs> look at the camera like I look pale they like the person who they like that takes care of them and everything. Yeah, like they, yeah. Like their parents. Yes. Another thing I did not know about horses is that I, Sam and I both, I think most people in the world think this, I thought that you would were, you were be like, oh, my daughter loves horses, she wants to ride, I think I'll buy her a horse so she can have more opportunity to ride. And then we thought you just looked at the ads and found a horse that you liked and went and bought it and that is nothing like what happens in the horse buying world is it no it takes so long to find a horse it has to be able to do your what's it called discipline it has to be able to do your discipline you can't just buy any horse some are english some are western some are inventors yep um and it has Jumping. to be able to suit you yeah and it has to suit the person it has to be the right size it has to be the right shape even because i need a horse that's a bigger boned horse because i'm heavier and it has to be like there are so many considerations that go into buying a horse and then when you actually buy, try to buy the horse it takes forever to find one and it has to be the right age yeah it has to be there's so many so much consideration that goes into buying a horse i thought it would be a lot easier i thought it would be a lot less stressful and then when you actually realize that you're purchasing a an animal that has feelings and emotions it just it's so much more involved than I ever thought that it would be another thing that was shocking to me 
is um, how much work having horses. The get mother souls, get them fresh water, feed them. And that's not all, that's not all. You think just taking care of them is a lot of work? But I thought that when you bought a horse, you parked it someplace in its field, it hung out with its friends, it ate some grass, ate some hay, and every time you felt like riding, you could go and grab it and saddle it up and start riding. No, that's not how it happens. What has to happen is that if you wanna ride on a regular basis, you have to keep your horse in shape. So you have to have a schedule and you have to be committed. You have to ride all those times, otherwise your horse gets out of shape. And also, you can't it's, leave it sitting in a field for any length of time because then it gets kind of um, overweight, grass-fed pony. What? Um, and if you can't ride it for that long, then just you can ask someone else to ride it. Right, but then that's another thing. Horses don't like to be ridden by everybody. Isn't that a weird thing? Yes, like my horse Sabrina. Yeah, like you can't, I thought that you could just ride any horse, like a horse is a horse is a horse, but that's like, not true. <clears throat> like Storm, Storm's like, those are tiny legs. Yes, yeah, like it's just crazy. Uh, the uh, commitment level was, is like, we didn't even understand that until we got our first lease horse. Like even when we knew we, we researched and we did so much, we found out so much information that we still didn't even know that until after we got Sabrina. Another thing that we didn't know about horses is how fragile they are. Like literally they are these big, huge, massive horses and they can't handle anything. <laughs> Like everything scares them, which I didn't Sabrina. know that. Yeah. Yeah. Everything scares them. Flight animals, which I didn't fight really. Fight or flight. Fight or flight animals, which I didn't really think about before, and I never thought it would be that big of a thing, but it's a huge thing. Um, everything leads to colic. Everything. You can't feed them a certain way. You have to like you have to be so specific on their care. You can't make any little mistakes, or colic can happen. Colic is the dirty word. Um, to do with horses and then before we got horses I thought colic was something that was done like something that could happen to like old horses that were sickly or horses that were mistreated I didn't realize it was like a, it was such a Every horse yeah it was just something that happens and um, that was a huge thing to think this big huge animal was um, so fragile I always knew that horses were expensive. Everybody's explained to me all my life. I always knew, everybody knows horses are expensive. Like, come on. But um, there's expensive and then there's horse expensive, which is like 50 times more than expensive. So when people say, oh, horses are expensive, what they really mean is like, horses are the most expensive. Horses are just crazy expensive. Like I had no idea. And I had no idea how much stuff they needed. And I had no idea how, it's all trial and error and you buy one thing because you think you need it and you try it and you're like nope that doesn't work and then you have to buy another thing and try that to see if that works and hopefully after you've bought 50,000 things that you're probably never going to use again you finally find something that actually works for your horse don't you think yeah yeah and you need to buy all the stuff for your horse and yeah. it's so expensive yeah taking your horse places is expensive it's just all expensive Another thing that I had noticed about horses that I did not know was how uh, was the, the bond. The bond is a massive deal and I did not know that horses and people formed bonds. I've heard people talk about it before. I thought I didn't really think that it was like a real, I didn't really think it was real. I, I don't know what I thought. I just know that it's really real. So um, we have a mare and a gelding and our mare will literally treat all of us completely differently. She's a different bond with all of us. She knows that I'm the easy one that will let her do whatever she wants. She Which knows. You can't. I know. I need to work on that. And she thinks I'm her baby. She thinks that she's her baby. I've seen her um, licking her and grooming her before. Uh, she's tried to save her from other horses before. She thinks that she is her baby. And how do you think Sabrina responds with you? Never refuses. Yeah, like yeah. she, she's. She, it's amazing to me the bond that you get with your horse and it's not something that just happens overnight. You don't just get your horse and be in love even though it's easy to be in love with them. But it's a bond that builds over time and um, gets stronger and stronger and stronger and that was overwhelming to me and it helps me to realize why people are so super passionate about horses, about their horses because the bond is real you guys. It is true that you can just get a horse and love it. We'll get the horse that suits you and love it right away. Yeah, because yeah, we did. Because it's the horse that's 
like kind of like a dream wars. Yeah, and you do love it, but there's something else that comes with love. You love it right from the start, but then once you bond with it, and bonding is what takes time. Once you bond with it, your love grows and grows. Like, don't you love Sabrina more than anything? Like before when we got her, don't you love her more? Because you trust her and she trusts you. Do you trust her? Yeah. Yeah, and do you trust I trust her with my life because yeah. basically she never refuses. Yeah. yeah. Like she's, yeah, she's really good she to us. She never refuses. Yeah. And but her refuses are just blocks over. It's yeah. Like yeah. Bad. When she refuses it, she just jumps up, like jumps, but only the front part gets over it. Then yeah. Stops. And, and we love Storm. We totally love Storm. He is the sweetest boy in the whole entire world. He's so gentle. Like I don't even ever want to get him in trouble because if I get him, if I get upset with him and say no. He's like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Like, he's just such a gentle horse. You never want to ever be angry with him. He's just so sweet. But I don't have a super long, I don't have a really strong bond with him yet. It's building and it's coming and we're working on it. But I can tell the difference between um, having had Sabrina for a lot longer than him. And one day we're going to look back at this and think like, how could we even ever have said that? Because Storm is, is, is our heart horse. And he does come to us in the field. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the last thing that we didn't know about horses until we got a horse, um, this one is one that Gabby thought yes. of. And basically, she was surprised at all the relationships and friendships that we've made through our love of horses. Pony Squad. Yeah. Pony Squad. They have, Shout out to Pony Squad. They have a little group Pony at their squad. barn called the Pony Squad, and it's a bunch of little girls all the same age, and they all have their own horses. and. Um, they've made really, really strong, amazing friendships. We've made friendships with our, um, a lot of the people at our barn. Our barn instructor is amazing to us and supportive of us. And all of you guys, we met all, most of you guys through our horses. And that's a big thing. That's a huge thing. And that was amazing. And Spending all dad's money. Yeah. Going you, to the green hawk warehouse. Yeah. Day. Yeah. You liked spending all the money? Yeah, I hated spending all the money. That's the part that I, I was not in love with. We could get so much stuff with that money. And we got little dog blankets. Yeah, yeah so uh, she liked it because it was a sale. So we said, yeah, get what you need. <laughs> it's a horse sale too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But anyways, that's it and for this. And I liked oh. it because I could get stuff. All right, so do you have anything to say about horses before we end this video? Like They're amazing. It. Oh, in the camera. And they're so loving. Yeah, just like you. And what do you have to say about horses before I end this video? Oh, they're so kind. Awesome. Horses are awesome? Don't kick that. They're horses so are awesome? Yeah. Could you imagine your life without horses now? No. Do you ever want to not own a horse? No. I look pale. Look at me. I don't look at Look at my face. I don't look at your face. I don't look at my face. Yeah, Sophie and I got a tan yesterday outside huh Bong. anyway it's true horses get under your skin and once you have one they're like potato chips once you have one you cannot stop you want another although we'll have no problem stopping i think oh. because they oh, are we'll required, have because it, they we'll take so much four. care and i always want to be able to provide we'll our horses five. with the best care yeah. that we can you'll we'll get five horses and then leave you i want to know in the comments below what is one thing that you guys did not know about horses before you owned or leased or had your own horse and um i also kind of want to know how horses changed you because i think that's another video that i want to do is um how horses have changed us how sabrina being scared to being confident can you tell mom we're gonna do yeah. another video scared to confident that's <laughs> fun like, do not, do not cut that out. Okay. All right, you guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And we'll be hopefully making a lot more sit down videos through the summer because we're going to have more time. So that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And we'll see you in our next video. Bye. Bye. Boo. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.